Now this illustration deals with impedance grounded neutral systems in accordance with NEC 250.20D as in dog. Now notice one thing that coming out the gate you want to review is the two bullets right above the uh, caption. The grounded, uh, I shouldn't say grounded, but the conditions of maintenance and supervision ensures now, uh, what, what is insured here? Only qualified persons shall service the installation. That, that's coming out the gate. And then ground detectors are installed on the system, line to neutral, so that you uh, notice if, uh, uh, say, L1, L2, L3 goes to ground, see? Now, those two things uh, have to be available, uh, you know, before this, you, you do anything else. Now, notice that we have in the illustration an equipment grounding bar, EGB, and an equipment bonding jumper. Now, uh, at the very right-hand side, top of the illustration, the service disconnecting means, or first uh, system disconnecting means for separately derived systems, where the voltage now is 480 to 1,000 volts, three-phase uh, three phase, uh, loads only, and we're using high impedance grounding in accordance with 250.36. If you're over 1,000 volts, again, it's in the very back part of Article 250, and we'd look at 250.187 uh, for the same thing for high-voltage systems. But we have some rules that we have to follow in addition to what you see here. Now, we'll get into those rules when we get over to 250.36 in detail. But right now, we're just uh, mentioning, yeah, high impedance ground is a system. And what it provides when you uh, review Article 100 and the definition is that you could get a ground on, uh, say, L1, nothing happens. Or you could have a low impedance grounding instead of high, and you could time it out. Or you could just have a fault, just destroy it, and uh, you knew you, you had to uh, uh, repair and so forth. But notice that the high impedance ground is installed between the grounded uh, center port of that Y system uh, through a high impedance grounding uh, and then to ground. Now, the high impedance uh, unit is designed to let maybe anything from 2 to 20 amps flow. That's just a figure we're throwing out there that you'll see a lot. And uh, so it, it does provide amount of protection to somebody working and accidentally cause a, one of those legs to go to ground by dropping something into it of metal that could cause it to go to ground on that one leg, uh, it could sure save electrical arc condition as long as you didn't let one go face to face on you. So we'll get into this in more detail and, and talk about it more when we get over to 250.36. But right now this figure 16-18 is just letting the designer of grounding systems that uh, impedance grounded neutral systems uh, can be used in accordance to 250.20 D as in dog and chapter 7 of NFPA 70B as well as providing a certain amount of safety related work practices in accordance with NFPA 70E as in Ed.